Have you guys ever asked your parents, hey dad or hey mom, what was your dream growing up? Nowadays, if you ask people, what do you want to be? They will say, I want to be YouTuber. I want to be an influencer. I want to be a fashion designer. But have you guys ever wondered, what were your mom's and dad's dreams when they were little? And did they manage to make their dreams come true? Well, my mom's answer is quite typical. She said that she wants to have a happy little family. And of course, her dreams come true. But my dad's answer is different. He said as a kid, he wanted to become an engineer because he wanted to build planes. He dreamed that one day, he can build something and fly wherever he wanted to. Ladies and gentlemen, years of today, what crazy dream did you have when you were little? Did you dream of doing something fantastic? Something impossible? Have you guys ever wondered, 50 years ago, what dreams would high school students have? We all know that back then, Indonesia had just reached dependence, so everything was built from zero. And I believe back then, there were youths who had dreams to build skyscrapers, trains, highways, and voila, here we are today. Thanks to the dream of those youths. Today, we are blessed with trains, highways, and skyscrapers. But are we going to end here? Well, of course not. In fact, we are still in the early phase of building our dream country. In my personal opinion, the future of the country depends on the young generation of the country because they are the ones who are going to decide the journey. And I believe that each generation has their own way to contribute to the country. And previous generation should also support or at least guide current generation no matter what happens. You see, I have a story that I would like to share with you. One of my oldest brother's friends, he was a quirky guy. He is interested in becoming a social influencer and in social media, he does custom makeups and shares them with his audiences. Personally, he is very happy with what he does and he believes in his own passion. He believes that makeup should be universal and men should not be ashamed of friendly makeup. But sadly, as you may have suspected, his parents did not approve of his passion because his parents, they want their children to have a proper job, go into the office, have a stable job, and work for his family. I believe some of us have similar stories as well, where our dreams or our hobbies are supported by our parents. Because as humanity grows, change changes and more often than not. These changes look very strange to previous generations. The new thing like TikTok. Some of our parents might not have approved this as well and deem it as inappropriate. But the thing is, sometimes, these are the milestones to a country's growth. For example, Japan. Imagine 100 years ago, who would have ever imagined that the country would get you success and profit from anime? Indeed, it was because in one generation that you saw a chance in this anime industry and see what happened to the country then. Another example is South Korea. Will the people 100 years ago have thought that in the future the country will regain its success from its girl bands and boy bands? Nobody would have suspected, but it's the youth who have saw the chance and utilized it to their fullest. Another example is gaming. A decade ago, if you tell your parents that you want to play games for a living, you will get an earful and education discussion for an hour and you will not be allowed to play games for a few weeks. Fast forward today, eSports is considered as a serious business field with a lot of young athletes making money by what? By playing games. Because of what? Because that's what the generation quits are. Things that are loved by a lot of people will always be able to generate money, no matter what it is. Nobody knows what the future trends will be, which is why, as youth of today, we should be ready of the opportunities of tomorrow. Same can be said for our country. Who knows the future hold for us? I have seen resemblance from my brother's friends. Today, he is successful with his own passion. Make up brands that he uses will sometimes endorse him. There are a lot of people who are motivated by what he is. And he always told his words to me, to be true to themselves. He even has a very supporting girlfriend. Ladies and gentlemen, some of you may have designed pants or pads. Some of us may have made sand drawings or watched Netflix or money. 
I don't care how weird it sounds. I may not even understand what are you doing. But the thing is, you need to guard faith in what you believe in. Because if you, the first of my son's I don't believe, nobody ever will. Whenever you be doubtful, just remember that Abraham Lincoln once said, the best way to predict your future is to create it. My name is Churatan, and let's continue to inspire, shall we?